I've just added a new model to my battery charger collection, so I thought I'd do a little roundup of these chargers. So what do we have here? We have the PowerX MHC9000 Pro, the Vapsil S4 Plus version 3, the Leto Carla LII 600, and the Sky RC NC 2500 Pro. For those not familiar with battery chargers, they all do four basic functions. They will charge batteries, so if you have batteries that are in good condition but are low on capacity, they will charge them to full capacity. They will discharge batteries. You, you may think, why do you want to do that? And the reason for doing that is to test how much capacity the battery has got. So first of all, you fully charge it. And then when you discharge it, the battery takes all the, all the power out and tells you how much capacity that battery can hold. They will do that automatically. Uh, there's a function called uh, refresh or analyze or test. And what that does automatically, it first of all charges the battery to its full capacity. Then it discharges it. And when it does the discharge cycle, it will tell you how much capacity the battery has got. And once it's finished that, it will then charge it again, ready for use. And there's also a repair function. On some of the chargers, it's called break-in. And what's that, what that's used for is for new batteries, for batteries that have been in storage for a long time, or batteries that have some kind of an issue. And sometimes if the battery has got a problem, these chargers can actually repair it. I just need to say a few things. Uh, firstly, my education was in mechanical and production engineering. I'm not an electronics genius, so this will just be done at a sort of user level without any in-depth knowledge. And I only use NIMH, AA and AAA batteries. I don't use any lithium ion batteries. Some years ago, I found myself using lots and lots of small batteries. Uh, most appliances in the house have a remote and they, they use batteries. I have fridge and freezer thermometers, indoor, indoor and outdoor air thermometers, kids toys, my camera flashes use batteries, as do the power winders for my old film cameras. And I just got fed up every time batteries ran out buying new ones, so it made sense to start using rechargeable batteries. And the, the first charger I used was this one. This came with my first Eneloop batteries. And it's fine if the batteries are in good condition, but it, it doesn't give any indication of the battery health and you can't battery match. If a device uses multiple batteries, it will only last as long as the weakest battery. So what you need to do is to find the capacity of your batteries and then use batteries together that have sort of matching capacities. And you can't do that with a charger like this. I then started buying smart chargers and I'll just give you my thoughts on the chargers that I've bought. So these two here, the Leto Carla and the Vapcell, are quite similar in form and function. And if you're using lithium ion batteries, you'll need something like this. The, the slots have sliders which can accommodate larger batteries than AA and they will also handle lithium ion, whereas the, the PowerX and the, the Sky RC won't do lithium ion and they won't do any batteries other than AA or AAA. The displays on these two are a bit fancier. They show information that the other ones don't such as internal battery resistance, battery temperature and the capacity expressed as a percentage, although that isn't very accurate. And they will automatically set the charge and discharge rates. On the other two you have to set those manually. On these two you can set them manually but it will also do it automatically. So there are some advantages. I've had some problems though with both of these. Um, well with the Vapso it wasn't really a problem. With the, with the Leto Carla, when, when trying to do a repair, it just stops mid-cycle somewhere and it won't complete the re repair function. I've tried it several times and it's been the same every time. And with the VAP cell, I've done a repair, but it took almost 100 hours with four AA batteries. So it takes a very long time. 
and that's not a problem I've had with the um, other two chargers. When I just had these three chargers, it was the, the Power X that ended up being my favorite. It doesn't look as fancy, but it just works. And you, you can set the charge and discharge current in increments of a, a tenth of an amp, whereas you can only do that on these two at a, a quarter of an amp. And it just works. It's, it, doesn't look, it doesn't look as fancy, but it, it just works really well. So much in fact that I, I went out and bought another one. With the Power X and the Sky RC, you have to set the charge and discharge rates manually, but information on how to do that is given in the user manuals, which interestingly is, is different. So for example, for an AAA battery with a capacity of 700 milliamp hours, um, Sky RC recommends 700 for charge and 350 for discharge, and PowerX recommends 300 for charge and 100 for discharge. All the chargers do basically the same thing, but the way you set them up and the way they display information is slightly different. I haven't got time to go th through it for every charger, it would just take too long and make the video so long. But for example, um, if you want to know if, if the battery is charging or discharging, on the PowerX, it will just show you with a little cursor. On the Vapsil and Lito Carla, you will see this like flashing battery icon with the bars, and depending which way they're going, will indicate whether it's charging or discharging. And with the Sky RC, there are some LEDs at the top, and when the batteries are discharging, they, they flash in red, and when they're charging, they flash in green. I'd heard so many things about Sky RC that I, I really wanted to try one of their chargers. I watched a video about the MC3000 model, and it just looked too complicated. There were many parameters that I'd never even heard of. I'm a little bit geeky, but not ultra geeky. So I went for this model, uh, which isn't quite as complicated as the MC 3000s. And one of the obvious advantages, as you can see, it's got slots for six batteries, so you, you can charge six batteries. And whereas with the other chargers, you just need to set the charge and discharge currents. With this one, there, there are some other premises as well, such as is a, a delta peak, and I wasn't even sure what that was. I think it's to do with when it gets charged, if it, if it starts to be overcharged, then it can damage the battery. So with this delta peak setting, you can prevent that happening. And it's also, there's also a, a timer setting. So if, the, if there's a malfunction with the charger, it won't overcharge the battery. And there's a, a step charge where apparently you, you can set three different stages of charging the battery and you can set those all differently. But the, the book, the, the user manual does actually say this mode requires users to have more professional battery knowledge. Use it with caution. So Sky RC is really for people who know their stuff, whereas uh, these other chargers are a, a lot more basic. The RC in Sky RC stands for remote control. And these chargers are really for people who are into remote, remote control models and use batteries to power their models. So they have a few other features. There's a, a USB port for charging and also a motor braking. So remote control models will use electric motors and inside the motors there are brushes and commutators that rub together. And with new motors, they need to be broken in if, if you run at full speed, it's gonna do some damage. So this will allow you just to break in your motor at a slow speed. It's not, not something that I use, but as I said, these charges are, are aimed at people who are into remote control models. Just to sum up, if you want to start using rechargeable batteries to, to save, keep having to buy alkaline batteries all the time, something like this is fine, but it, it won't tell you very much, or it won't tell you anything about the uh, battery health and it won't allow you to match batteries. So really I'd recommend buying a, a, a smart charger. 
If you use lithium ion batteries, you will need to buy something like this because the other two can't handle lithium ion and they can't handle larger size batteries. If like me, you, you just use regular NIMH or NICD batteries, AA and AAA, I've, I've really been pleased with the, the PowerX. Um, it's, it's funny, of the videos I've done, I've had people raving in the comments section about these two, whereas I've, I've had problems, as I say, with, um, with the Litto Carla, I've not been able to do a repair, and with the Vatcell, it's taken a very long time to do a repair. With the PowerX, I've, I've had no problems at all. I've had very, very few good comments about the PowerX. It's strange, and uh, uh, my experience has been the opposite. That I, I've had the best experience with the, the PowerX, and I've had problems with these two. Um, the Sky RC, I haven't actually been using for very long, but um, I think this may end up being my, my favourite charger. For the first, because of the, the six slots. It's very very heavy, it, it just sort of reeks of quality. It, 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 all the controls feel really nice. Uh, Sky RC have got a great reputation. So it's a bit early for me to, to say conclusively. I, I can't give you any long-term results yet. But so far, this is looking like a, a very nice charger. Okay, I hope that's helped a little bit. Any, any questions, let me know in the comments section. And thank you for watching.